but it's basically like uh, it's actually not that difficult. Like the beatboxers, they're trying to do that bass out. Boom, boom. That's the sound. <laughs> they just shape their mouth differently while they were making that sound. Once you start getting into it, there's all these sort of different instances of this uh, overtone or multiphonic singing technique. The Tuvan and Mongolian traditions, there's like all these different sort of styles. There's like a high whistling one, like it's like a rabbit hole. Once you like start going down it, there's you find all these different um it's actually not as uncommon as you might think it is, like when you first hear it. Um there's a lot of traditions around the world that have some kind of multiphonic singing. There's yodeling, there's some types of Italian singing, there's a Inuit game where people sing into each other's mouths, and that has like a multiphonic singing. Yeah, so you, you can start finding all these different sort of connections and stuff. It's it's quite interesting.